What's up guys, I'm Russin from RossmartTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use an array. So let's get started. Now what is an array? Well an array is like a variable that can hold more than one value, that's all it is. But one thing to know about an array, when declaring an array, you have to stick with the same data type. If you declare an array with an integer data type, your whole array has to have integer values. If you declare a variable with a double data type, then your entire array has to have double values. So that's how that works. So let me show you how to declare an array. There are two ways to do it and they both work. So first thing we need to do is type in our data type. I'm gonna use a integer data type, so type in int. We're gonna use this open and close bracket, right? Hit space, now we gotta give our variable a name. I'm gonna call my variable red. Then we're gonna hit space. I'm gonna make this equal to new. Our data type again, which is integer. Uh, open and close bracket again, and there with a semicolon. Now, inside this open and close bracket, we gotta type in how many places, how many values can our array have, or can our array store. I'm gonna type in, let's say, 20, right? You can type in whatever you want. All this means is how, how many spaces you want for different values inside your array. You could type in whatever you want, so I just typed in 20. Now, the next thing we could do, is I'll show you the second way to write this. Now, this is the preferred way to write this. We start off with our data type, open and close uh, brackets. Then we hit space and we had to give our array a name. We, I called my red. Then we make it equal to new. The data type, open and close bracket, and the way a semicolon inside the open and close bracket, we type in how many values we, we want this array to store. So now I'm gonna show you the second way. This is how you write it the second way. We type our, again, our data type. Hit space. Now instead of writing this open and close bracket, we're gonna give our variable or our array a name. I'm gonna call my array again red, right? I'm sorry, red. Now next to our variable name, we're gonna type in these open and close bracket and hit equals new hit space. Again, our variable or data type. Our data type is int open and close bracket and the with a semicolon and we're gonna type in inside this open and close bracket the amount of space we want this array to store. So again, I'm gonna type in 20. Now this is the second way to write this. They both work. This top one is a preferred. The bottom one is not preferred, but it'll still work. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna use the top one, the preferred method or the preferred way to write or declare an array. Now that we declared an array, let's give it some values. Now each value, inside our array is called an index. And I'll show you how to set that up. We have to start off by typing in our, our variable name or our array name. I'm gonna type in red, right? Open a close bracket, space equals, space, now we gotta give it a value. Since it's a integer data type, we have to give it an integer value. So I'll type in five and end it with a semicolon. Now inside this open and close bracket, this is an index. This is one of the spaces that, that we can store value. So the, the way that uh, well, most computers and programming languages work, it starts with the zero first. So zero is the first, and the last would be uh, 19, because there are 20 spaces. So zero would be the first digit, the last space or the last index would be 19. So I, so I basically said that our array red in the zero index has a value of five. So now let's give it another value. Let's say our array red, open a close bracket, space equals, let's give it a value of 10 and the way semicolon, let's say index two, right? I'm sorry, index one, and it has a value of 10. So in the, in the first index, which is the next one up, we gave it a value of 10, let's give it one more. Let's say our array red, open and close bracket, hit space, equal symbol, hit space, let's give it a value, of, I'll give it a value of like 30, and then with a semicolon. Now, this is gonna be the second index. And again, since we created 20 spots, it's gonna start from zero to 19. I, I don't know why uh, programming languages like to start with zero, but they do. So th that's why we have zero to 19, because there are 20 spots. Now, how, how do we uh, invoke these values? It's simple, and it's, it's it's pretty much the same way like we would invoke a regular variable, but we add its index, this open and close bracket and the, and the index number. I'll show you how that works. We're gonna use the system that out that print ln, so capital S, Y S T E M, 
that out, that print, ln, open and close parentheses, and there we have semicolon. Now inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our, our array index. Let's print out that first one uh, with the zero value. So we're going to type in red, open and close bracket, right? Then inside this uh, open and close bracket, we're going to give it the index number. So I'm going to type in zero. So now it's going to print the value of this index here, which is uh, has a value of five. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit play here. Proceed. As you see down here, it printed out the value of five, right? So, so it worked. Now let's try to print out the first index, index one, which has a value of 10. So let's replace zero with one. Let's hit play. Hit proceed. Now it printed out 10 down here, as you can see. Now let's print out the value of our second index here, which has a value of 30. Let's replace one with a two. Let's hit play. I'm going to click on proceed. Now down here, as you can see, it printed out the value of 30. So th that's how we uh, declare a, an array, right? That's how we uh, give each index its value. Now there is a simpler way to do this. Instead of rewriting the variable name then with the index, there's a shorter way to do this. And then I'm going to delete all this and I'll show you how it works. Now this quick way is called a, an array initializer. So let's get started. First, we have to type in our data type. I'm going to type in int. Then we're going to type in this open and close uh, bracket, hit space. We're going to give our an array name again, <clears throat> our array name. So I'm going to call mine red, hit space, right? Make this equal to this open and close curly brace and end it with a semicolon. Now inside this open and close curly brace, we're going to type in different values. So the first value we type is going to be the zero spot, right? And now we're going to type in comma, hit space. Now, we, or we don't have to hit space. Our second value here, I'm going to type in five. Doesn't make a difference. This is the, the ones place or the one index. I'm going to use a comma. Then I'm going to type in 10, comma, four, comma, three. It doesn't make a difference. So this is the quicker way to write a, an array and give it value all in one line. We're declaring an array uh, and we're giving uh, each index value. And we don't have to keep writing our array name and the index number and giving it value that way. So that'll take forever. So let's print out the value of these different index. Again, this is the zero, this is the one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Notice that we're not giving it a set amount. We're not telling it uh, our array is gonna have 20 spaces it's going to automatically just keep adding it. So we don't need to type that. So now let's, how do we invoke our indexes the same way we did before? All we have to do is I'm going to use the system dot out dot print line LN open a close parentheses and the way semicolon. Now we're going to type in our first index and we'll type in red open a close bracket. And again, this is the zeros place here, and the zeros place has a value of one, so we're gonna type in zero here because it's index zero. So let's hit, let's make, sh let's actually delete this. I already had one there, I forgot. So let's just hit play here. Let's hit proceed, and it printed out one because again, our uh, our zero index has a value of one. Now next to it is the one, right? So let's replace this with one. Let's hit play. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click on proceed and it printed out five because our second index here, or actually this is index one, it has a value of five. So let's try index two. Index two has a value of 10 over here. So let's hit play and it printed out 10 down here. And that's pretty much it. You can add as much as you want. And it's just an easier way to uh, give each index value. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Ressin from and thanks for watching.